Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Sumit and uh, I am back with another Blender tutorial for beginners. And this tutorial is uh, about modeling tips for beginners in Blender 2.8. So what I will be showing is how to easily transform this little cube to a beautiful bathroom sink model. So it's uh, basically a modeling tutorial and it's totally a scrap for beginners. So are you excited? Then buckle up and let's jump into business. So with my new blender scene open, let's jump into the business and uh, for this video I won't be deleting any of my default objects present in the scene simply because of the fact that I will be modeling this uh, very cube into our bathroom sink. So I'll quickly go to the edit mode but before that I will have to press number pad 5 and then number pad 1 to go to the front orthographic view. Now switching to the edit mode by hitting tab, I'll first uh, hit G and then Z and then number pad 1 to and then hit enter and that's the point of origin set to down of at the base of my mesh. So what I did is actually I, so I set the point of origin of my mesh to the base of the mesh so if I'm scaling it up or down you can see that the alignment with the base of my mesh so the point of origin is actually not hampering when I'm scaling it up or down. So anyways that's the idea of doing all these things so I'll just go back to the edit mode and start uh, modeling the sink. So I'll quickly go to the face selection by selecting this little tab over here and then select the top face and then hit G then Z and I will hover my mouse until uh, the position that I want that is sufficient for creating this base of my sink. So I'm pretty much satisfied with what I have got here. So that's the best and now it's time to add two different crevices as I've shown in the picture. So in order to create that crevice I will at first introduce two loop cuts. So Ctrl R is a, is a shortcut to create a loop cut and if I'm just dragging or hovering my mouse to the position where I want I'll just leave it right there and then left click it to leave the loop cut right up there. So similar thing will be done at the base uh, or at the downwards. So now the loop cut is introduced and then you can see that both of these uh, uh, edge loops have been created. <coughs> now what I want is uh, I want to uh, form these two loop cuts or two edge loops to be the crevices on the on my base model. So I will uh, by selecting this one uh, if I am holding down shift and then alt and then left clicking on this edge loop I have I have actually selected both of the edge loops now it's time to create a bevel so control B and then hovering my mouse a little bit until I'm satisfied with my results so this is the position where I want alt E hit alt E to extrude faces along normals now what does it uh, what does it do it actually allows you to extrude your faces along with their normal so there's everywhere you can find out that there is a uniformity in the extrusion it's uh, it's a little bit more complicated in uh, normal extrusion so this one is this one is very handy so I'll extrude it uh, downward right till here until I'm actually satisfied and leave it and uh, as you can see while I'm switching it back to the object mode a pretty much good crevices have been formed now it's time the now the base of my mesh has been created a little bit of a mode a little bit of a uh, modification is actually needed required so I'll switch uh, to the modifiers tab add a bevel modifier in order to create a smooth edge of uh, each and every corners of my mesh so I'll introduce three segments of bevel modifier and then I'll just uh, decrease the width to be about 0 0.01 and hit enter and you can see that a very subtle round or smooth surface has been created and then I'll go to the object tab and select shade smooth in order to uh, select some sort of a smooth shading all over my mess so this is the base uh, that's the base or the stand in which the sink will be fitted so I'll quickly rename it as a uh, base as it is very good uh, very good exercise to rename your objects so the base of my sink has been created now it's time to create the mirror panel or the glass panel 
so in order to create a glass i will quickly add a plane and uh, bring it upwards by you can see that the axes are missing over here just you have to select the click on this one and voila your your axis will be found again so what i'll be doing i'll drag it along the z-axis up till here scale it a little bit until it reaches my scene uh, or it matches my scene and then go to the edit mode by hitting again tab hit e to extrude a little bit of extrusion is actually needed and leave it right there that's the glass model that's the glass panel on which the sink will be fitted and uh, if you want uh, if you want to increase the width of this you can always do it by hitting again by selecting this one and you can move it but i'm satisfied with my results so i'll leave it right there so a little bit of a bevel is also required to this uh, this little glass piece here so again go to the modifiers tab and then select bevel modifier to apply some sort of a bevel or a smooth shape and then again i'll select three segments and the width shall also be 0 0.01 meter so pretty much that's it that's the glass panel so i will again rename it as glass panel because it's a very good uh, it's a very good uh, habit to rename each and everything as i've already mentioned now it's time to create our sink now this is a little bit of a different type of uh, tutorial as you can see that i'm actually creating everything with uh, a cube now you may be wondering why i am using the cube instead of using sphere or any kind of circle because i found out that uh, uh, the cube or modeling a cube if you are applying subsurface modification or subsurface modifier onto it the topology remains very much clean and that's the key and that's the keyframe for a very successful cg artist or 3d artist is to have a clean topology if you are if your models are having clean topology your models are definitely going to sell so trust me on this and now let's get back to creating our sink so hit shift a add a mesh and i'll be selecting a cube for this one also send it upward until it matches the scene uh, right about there and leave it there and then i'll hit ctrl 2 to activate two level of sub subdivision surface as you can see if i am going to the modifiers tab my mesh has been already been select uh, been activated with two levels of subdivision surface so i'll switch uh, as you can see that it's totally spherical and it's nonsense to have a spherical sink so what i'll be doing i'll go back to edit mode by hitting tab then select the face selection select this top top face and hit delete and select the faces to delete this one so a nice cup like shape has been formed now it's time to modify this thing as it has been depicted in the picture so the, at first i will be selecting the edge selection select all of these top edges and bring it down a little bit until it matches the scene right about there and now it's time to introduce another loop cut so hit ctrl r to add a loop cut so and i will send this loop cut right to the backward because according to the picture the back of my sync model is actually flat and the front is actually curved so this is the idea as you can see it's actually it's actually taking the shape and it's a very good news for us and uh, a little bit of a a little bit of a scaling down is actually required and another loop cut right up there and I will scale it up in order to create a nice round like shape now you can see that uh, our sink is actually taking shape a little bit of a modification is needed over there and uh, I will be again selecting this these two faces and scale it down on the x-axis to s to activate the scale tool or scale transformation tool hit x to activate the scale to only x axis and then i'll scale it down a little bit until i think that's the thing yeah another loop cut right about there and s to activate the scale hit x to activate the scale engine to or the scale selection to x axis only and i will scale it until i think that's fitting my scene so there it is 
and that's it that's my sink that i was talking about so this is the sink that i have uh, that i've created and you can see it's it's pretty pretty much easy now all you have to do is apply this subsurf modifier and you can see a very clean topology is actually flowing with a little bit of a work done now two different modifiers will be applied over there the first one will be a solidification modifier in order to get some uh, give some sort of a thickness to my sink model so the thickness will be a little bit um, like uh, 0.1 0.1 like that and then there will be a two level of subsurf modifier so you can see that the model is looking rather nice and i will go again and to the object panel and select on shade smooth so everything has smooth shading activated so that's the mesh that's the model that i was talking about this is the base that's my glass panel and that's the sink so it's now time to create or introduce a faucet into our scene so what i'll be doing is go to the, the right orthographic view by hitting number pad 3 and then hit shift a to add another cube rather it uh, as the tutorial says it's everything all about everything is about cube so there will be no chances or no introduction of any other meshes other than q so scale it now it's time to scale it down so uh, s to scale and then i will select shift z to lock the z axis because and now if i'm scaling it up or down you can see that the z axis is actually not changing so the scaling is actually interlocked to only x and y axis and not z axis so i'll be scaling it down till here and it's now time to bring it to the scene that i want uh, to uh, and now to reposition it where i want so this is the position where i want the faucet to be fit and now i'll go to edit mode select this top face by selecting this one now there are three different uh, modifications needed hit e to extrude a little bit of an extrusion is needed by to on the z-axis right about there and another E to extrude right about there and another about there. So three level of extrusion and on the bottom of it I will extrude it right only once, only one over here and then one right about there and then th select this one. So let me select this face. Let me just uh, deactivate this one. Okay, so I'll selecting this face and then hit E to extrude right till there. So everything is now created and now it's time to create the faucet or the tap of the faucet. So I'll select again this face, hit E to extrude, a little bit of an extrusion, then again hit E to extrude, a little bit of an extrusion, hit R to rotate it and I'll send it a little bit down, then again hit E to extrude are to rotate and I'll send it down a little bit and now I'll just by uh, as you can see that this face has been selected I'll hit delete and delete the face and uh, similarly will be done over here so there is actually some sort of a tap like structure which I've created that's my tap and uh, the yeah that's it and you can also and there will be a little bit of a crevices on the top of the tap so i'll select uh, go to the edge selection hit alt and then left click on any of the edge and you can see that the edge loops have been selected and now i'll go select ctrl b to add a bevel bevel structure over there hit alt e to extrude along the normals faces along normals a little bit right about there so you can see that the tap has been created with the top uh, with the top of the tap and a pretty basic idea about it so how to create how to make this into a smooth shading or a round shape just you have to go to the modifiers tab and select subsurf modifier only one level is actually required till now and then i'll go to the edit mode and i'll do a little bit of a modifications i will add a loop cut right about there so that it matches perfectly with 
with uh, with the mesh or it looks like uh, some sort of a tap and not an alien looking subject another loop cut and i'll bring it right about there and a little bit of a loop cut over here a little loop cut over there and one in here and another over there and you can also scale it up if you want if you want to create a little bit of a fancy looking tap so i'll be selecting like this and you can see that the tap has been created so i'll at first apply this subsurf modifier and then again if i'm going to the edit mode you can see that the very clean topology has been created so there's no problem at all oh and uh, there was a little bit of a problem so let me just quickly go back by hitting shift uh, z shift z actually I'll, uh, i actually left one thing a loop cut is needed right about there okay now i can apply this and now what to do is to apply the subsurf uh, subsurf modifier again with two level of subdivision surface and now you can see we are having a very great looking faucet and then i'll again go to the objects panel and select shade smooth so that's it and a little bit of a solidification is also required for my tap so a little bit of a modif uh, a little bit of a thickness is required and one very important thing you must put your solidification modifier on top of the subsurf modifier that will that will be 100% correct or uh, the topology will be correct now you can increase the you can increase the thickness if you want but i am satisfied with this result so that's it that's the tap the and let me just uh, scale it down a little bit on the x as well as the y axis until it matches the scene and you can see and yeah i'm satisfied with this result so that's the model that i've created and uh, that's pretty much basic tutorial with the modeling now it's time to create the materials for this one now if you want to uh, another thing if you want to create a flush right about there you can also do that by and again clicking on the adding mesh which will be a cube and then scale it down and then bring it right on to there then scale it down a little bit even more right about there yeah and now go into the edit mode select this top this top face hit e to extrude s to scale and then hit e to extrude bring it up and s to scale right about there and then apply two level of subsurf modifier and you can see that the model has been created nicely now a little bit of a modification is always needed with the subsurf modifier uh, a loop cut may be needed right about there and about there so that's it that's our that's the flush of our sink and let me just apply this and you can see it's also having a nice clean topology all over the all over its surface so that's it that's about the modeling it took uh, near about 20 minutes under 20 minutes you have we have finished creating our sink so that's it for today uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed this little process of uh, converting a best uh, cube a best mesh cube into something attractive like this uh, this sink uh, if you guys love my videos then hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and uh, don't forget to press the notification bell so that you guys get updated about my stuffs so that's it for today i'm sumit uh, signing off so peace